Hello and welcome. My name's David and in this video we're going to take a look at my favourite method to really enhance the colours, the tones in an image. It's going to take a little bit of setting up but once we've done that we can save it as a preset so we can quickly and easily apply it to other images which we will be doing a little bit later and we'll be adjusting it further. Right, let's make a start. Now I mentioned an adjustment layer, of course you can head down to this and like on here for adjustments or you can go up to layer, down to new adjustment layer. The one we're going to use is selective color. Now when this opens, what have we got? Well, at the very top, we've got color. Make sure relative is ticked. We've then got cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. In other words, we got C, M, Y, and K. Now at the top, I mentioned color. Click in the box here, you've got a drop down menu. We've got the reds, yellows, greens, we've got cyans, blues, magentas. We've then got whites, neutrals and blacks. And I'll come back to this a little bit later on. But for now, let's have a look at red. But there's no red slider. Now this is where we need to start working in opposite colors. So let me switch this on so you can see exactly what I mean. Now the opposite color of cyan is red. The opposite color magenta is green. Opposite color of yellow is blue. And now we've got RGB. Clever or what? So for red, what we need to do is come to the cyan slider. We need to move it to the left hand side. So I'm going to click on this, moving it across. Let's just move this out of the way as well so you can see exactly what's happening. And if we move it across, look at those reds. I'm not going to take it all the way to 100%. Instead, the numbers that I found that work, I'm going to go to 50%. So now we've got minus 50 for the cyan. In other words, we're about this area here. Now we're going to add half this amount of magenta. So we're going to take the magenta slider, keep an eye on those reds, to half that amount. In other words, we're going to go to 25%, which is here. You can see the way that red has now changed. And I'm going to move this to 25% as well. So just bringing it across to here, there is a quicker way I'll show you in just a moment. That will do nicely. If I just switch this off and on, look at the difference we've made to those reds. Right, let's head back up. We're gonna come down to yellow. Now with yellow, yes, there's a yellow slider. We're gonna move this to the right-hand side. I mentioned a quicker way, highlight it. I'm now gonna type in five zero. We're going to come up, no need to put percentage sign in. I'm now going to come up to magenta. We're going to take this across into the greens. Keep an eye on the yellows again. So this time I need to press minus or negative. Notice that red box has gone round. Half that amount, of course, is 25. Coming up to cyan, taking this into the red. You can see those yellows now starting to pop. Minus, and once again, 25. This time pressing enter or return to apply it. Notice the way those yellows change very subtly. Notice the way my beach huts have just moved. Right, come into green. Now with green, no green slider. Opposite color is magenta. So we need to come up to the magenta slider, moving this across to the left hand side. So highlighting to move it to the left, press minus or negative. Now five zero, cyan. We're gonna take this into the cyans. You see the way the green just moved there? We're now going to go to 25 or move the tone improved is what I was trying to say. And 25 here, 25, press enter or return, just switching this off and on. And you can now see those greens, they're really starting to pop. Next, we've got cyan. We have a cyan slider. Highlight, putting in 50, coming down to magenta, moving this across to the left hand side, which is minus 25, coming down to yellow. Moving this across to the left-hand side, minus, two, five again. Press enter or return to apply it. You can see the cyan now really starting to work with the image. Next, we've got blues, no blue slider. Opposite color is yellow. So coming to the yellow slider, moving it to the left-hand side, highlighting, minus, five, zero. Coming up to magenta, we're gonna add some magenta into this. So we're gonna go two, five. We're going to come up to and look at that sky now that really started to uh, drop down got quite intense two five again we're going to add for the cyan press enter or return looks really good like that finally we have got magenta now there is a magenta slider moving this to the right hand side highlighting five zero 
We're now going to come to cyan, taking this to the left hand side. In other words, we're going to add a little bit of red, minus two five. We're going to come down to the yellows, moving this to the left hand side. In other words, we're going to add a little bit of blue, minus two five is the amount. And there it is. If I just switch this off for the moment, if we just switch this off and on, look at the difference we've made to the image. Now, once we've done it, we can save it as a preset. So head up to add preset, click on the little button, add adjustment preset. I'm going to call it what it is, which is color boost. Press enter or return to apply it. OK, we're now going to press delete. Now, where is it? Well, it's on your adjustment tab. Where is your adjustment tab if you can't see it? If you head up to view down to studio, you'll find adjustments right at the very top. Now scroll down on your adjustment tab to selective color. There it is. There's our color boost. This is the one we've just created with the preset clicking in. There it is. And if we just head back over to our layers panel, I can switch this off and on. You can see the difference that made to the image. Now I deliberately selected this picture because we got the reds, we've got the greens, we got the blues and all of the other colors. Okay, it looks a little bit over the top. And if your image is a bit like this, don't forget, you can always come to the opacity slider. You can drop the opacity down, perhaps something like this here would look pretty good. Just switching that off and on, that looks better. But we can adjust it even further. Let's just delete it. Let's take a look at it on a different image. Now I've selected this one. Once again, head into the adjustment tab, coming down to color boost. When we click on it, it's a little bit more subtle with the effect on this one. Let's move it to the side, coming over. There's our adjustment layer. Don't forget, this is also a handy mask and I'll come back to that just a little bit later. But for now, this is where we finished off magenta. Let's head back up to red. Now the one slider we didn't use, there's our minus 50 taking us into the reds, then 25% magenta, 25% of yellow was added. The one we didn't use was this one here, black. So what does this do? Well, if we move it to the left hand side, this is going to introduce the lighter pixels, the whiter pixels in with the reds, and we can make red pink. We can take it in the opposite direction. We're now adding the blacks, the darker pixels, and you can make it a much darker red. Now I'm looking at the fishing boat. I am not looking at this area here, and I will come back to that. I'm just gonna take it perhaps to this sort of region here. Right, next, let's have a look at yellow. Now the one thing I like to do is come to the slider. I'm gonna grab hold of it. If you whack it back and forth, you can see exactly what it's doing. Around this area, once again, I'm gonna largely ignore that we've got the boat cover here we've also got the pebbles on the beach and as we move this back and forth yes you can see those pebbles i think i want to darken it down very slightly so let's take it to this sort of region what you can also do is bring your cursor right over the top hold it there double click resets it click down again i'm ignoring don't forget all that fishing bits and pieces i'm looking at the pebbles at the beach uh, that's yeah let's leave it there right next we've got green got a feeling if i move this back and forth we are not seeing many greens in this particular image so i'm going to double click to reset it heading down we have got cyan grab hold of the slider whack it back and forth what have we got well we've got uh, his t-shirt fishing boat the sea we've got the sky we've got this giant block of lego as well i'm going to aim at this fishing boat the C as well, just taking it up, making it a little bit brighter, double clicking, go back and forth. Yeah, I like it there. Minus 24, let's take it just a smidgen higher at minus 26. Okay, heading up, let's take a look at blue. Now with blue, I'm gonna try and get more out of that sky. So I'm gonna move this to the left-hand side to darken it down, giving those clouds a little bit more definition there. Not sure I like his blue t-shirt anymore. So I will come back to that. That looks good like that. Magenta, finally, where's this gonna be? Well, it's in with the reds. So we can make that red hole on the fishing boat brighter. We can make it darker in this direction. Let's make it a little bit brighter perhaps something like this. So if I just switch this off and on, you can see the difference with one adjustment layer and just quickly going through it, 
just how, how we can change those colors, those tones in an image and really enhance them. Don't forget as well, it's an adjustment layer, so you can save it. You can always come back. You can always make adjustments. Right, the sliders we didn't look at was the white. Neutrals, blacks. Now this is where they come in. No white slider, but we have got the black slider with white and black. So let's come to this, move it to the left-hand side into the white area. Look at those whites really brightening up. We can bleach out the uh, clouds there, or we can enhance them by taking it to the left-hand side, darkening it down. Let's go to 40%, bringing my cursor right over the top, double click in. There it is. Look at the way we can just enhance those clouds. 42% is the number we've got here. Okay, let's have a look at neutrals, my favorite slider. Move it in this direction. You can add contrast to those colors. Move it in this direction here. You can sort of bleach it out. You've got to be a little bit careful. Small numbers usually. I just want to brighten this up. So I'm going to take it a small amount, perhaps 8%. Let's just double click, go back and forth between the two. Yeah, 8% there will do nicely. And finally, we've got blacks. Where's this going to be working? Well, move it back and forth and you will find out. It's here, it's here, it's here. Darkening down, I think, is the order of the day. So taking it into this sort of region here, once again, a small amount, 10%. Yeah, that'll do nicely. And there we are, clicking on the red cross to accept, switching it off and on. There's the difference we've made. Now I mentioned this region here. Let's head over to the toolbox. Let's pick up a paintbrush. Make sure you've got black as your foreground color. Now go to your brush panel. Brush panel not open? No problem. Head up to view, down to studio. You'll find it listed there. Now I'm on the basic brushes. I'm gonna scroll right the way down to the soft brush. Let's go for a 512 pixel, 512 pixel soft edge brush. Bringing it over, we got the opacity set at 100%. So let's come to this region here. Now, if I increase the size of the brush, if I move it back and forth, you can see those colors begin to adjust. If I take it right up in size, we can clearly see this. If I go over that, look at the way those colors darken down. That's because we're removing the layer mask. We're seeing through that color boost and we're seeing the background color. If I just switch it off, you can see the way it's much darker. So that's what we're seeing here. Now I don't want to remove it at 100%. Now for this particular one, I'm gonna reduce it to 50%. So I'm gonna press five on the keyboard. Incidentally, if you wanted 25%, it's two five in quick succession. Wanted 70%, seven, but I'm gonna go back to five, fifty percent there and trying to keep my fish in it's trying to escape I think. Right, so clicking down, let's go over this area. You can see that grey now beginning to open up on our layer mask. That's as we're removing it at fifty percent just over this region here. Still think it's a little bit bright in some of the areas, so I'm just going to reduce the size of my brush down. Let's go over that orange boy there, perhaps over those yellows over this one here and that one there they were just a bit and you now you can see those black spots mentioned his sunburn reducing the size of the brush down left hand square bracket will do that let's remove his sunburn let's go over it once let's go over it twice just drop in the t-shirt down by half so you can get a little black spot there for his legs little gray spot there for his t-shirt looking around yeah, these are just a bit bright so over that once, over that twice. So that's now taking it down to the background uh, layer and over these fishing boys here as well. That will do nicely, switching it off and on. And there it is. What I always suggest, just going over that boat cover, just removing that, yeah, take it out completely. That looks better. Always recommend put it aside, leave it for a couple of days, look at it with fresh eyes, then make any further adjustments. But go on, give it a try. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have, and don't forget to subscribe, plenty more videos to come. If you click that little bell icon, you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging, and take care.